people may be surprised to hear that ethics is part of the original sin. How so? Look at Genesis 3 and you'll see that ethics is the serpent's temptation to know what God knows, the knowledge of good and evil. We all know that every day we have to decide what to do and what not to do. The decision typically centers around the issue of good versus bad. Luther recognized that scripture names all that we choose to do as full of sin, and sin is not looked favorably upon by God. So the question arises, how then shall we live? Philip Melanchthon was Luther's colleague in Wittenberg. While Luther was in hiding at the Wartburg Castle, Melanchthon found himself having to be a leader in Wittenberg. And he felt the weight of carrying the Reformation cause on his shoulders. Since Luther couldn't be there to address what was happening directly, Melanchthon needed to be the one who decided, what next? Simply put, he was asking, how then shall we live? Luther recognized he wouldn't be able to give Melanchthon an answer that would be justified in God's sight. Melanchthon was bothered by the idea that his decisions could cause harm. In this light, Luther wrote to Melanchthon, be a sinner and sin boldly, but believe and rejoice in Christ even more boldly, for he is victorious over sin, death, and the world. Luther knew that Christ came for the sick and not the well, the sinner, not the righteous. It was and still is the sinners he came to save, who are the sheep who hear his voice. And it was and still is Christ's words of forgiveness that free you to live anew in this world, sin and sin boldly. All of this was said and done so you can remember, a mighty fortress is our God. <laughs>